Here's your weekly Canadians Abroad update. Theo Bear continues his great form after his recent Canada selection as Bear scores his 12th goal of the season to go along with his 4 assists and a 1-1 draw for Motherwell. Bear is leading from the front once again for his side and he made a little history this past weekend as he now becomes the highest scoring Canadian in the Scottish top flight for a single season after surpassing Scott Arfield's tally of 11 goals. Moise Bombito opens his professional account on his birthday after heading home his first Rapids goal against LAFC this past weekend, continuing his strong start to the 2024 MLS season. He was not the only Canadian to pick up a goal contribution in this match as Kamani Stewart-Baines also picked up his first assist for the club on the match-winning goal in a 3-2 win over LAFC. This was a massive moment for both of these young Canadians and they are definitely worth keeping an eye on this season. Jacob Schaffelberg put on a show this past weekend as he picked up two late assists in the first half for Nashville as they went on to draw 2-2 against the Columbus Crew. Both of Schaff's assists were pure quality. He already has three goals and three assists so far this season in all competitions. He is also coming off scoring for Canada this past window, helping his national team qualify for the 2024 Copa America. So I think it's very fair to say that his confidence should be sky high at the moment. There was a Canadian connection for TFC over the weekend as Jonathan Azorio scores from a perfect Shaquille Marshall Ruddy cross. I've really liked what I've seen so far from Marshall Ruddy to start the season because I think he could be in for a breakout campaign under John Herdman. However, unfortunately for TFC and John Herdman, that goal didn't really mean much in terms of the result because they went on to drop this match 3-1 against Sporting KC. Ryan Gold, who could one day be eligible for the Canadian men's national team, slotted home his first goal of the season against Portland. It was Ali Ahmed who put in a great ball and earned himself an assist. It was a very entertaining match, but it was the cap striking late as Ryan Raposo scored his second goal of the season with a very easy finish to give Vancouver a 3-2 lead, which they would be able to hold on to, taking all three points in a crazy Cascadia Cup clash. 